I'm going to quickly explain how to run a transient analysis in multisim. Right now I've got my RLC circuit right here which is underdamped and I'm going to run a transient analysis on it. So I've got my 60 Hertz uh, voltage source right here and I'm going to run my transient analysis. So to do that I'm going to go up to the simulate menu, go down to the analysis option and select a transient analysis. This will bring up a menu and the first thing you want to worry about is when do you want to start your analysis and when do you want to end it. So my source is going to be 60 Hertz so I'm going to end it at around 0.02 seconds which should give me a pretty good looking graph. Now the next thing you have to worry about is your output. Now I want to measure the voltage across the inductor in my circuit. So I have to add an expression which is already in there but I'll show you how you put it in. I'm going to add an expression which is the voltage from the capacitor to the inductor which I have labeled V sub CL. Copy that variable to the expression and then I want to subtract that from the voltage to from the inductor to the resistor. And I hit OK and it adds that expression to my variables for analysis. So that's I think that's everything and I just click the simulate button and that gives me a nice looking analysis. You can see here that uh you've got an underdamped circuit and it's a nice looking graph. Now this is the graph review screen and it should come up every time you run an analysis. Um, in version 11 from version 10 it comes with a couple different features. You've got the graph drag feature. Uh, you can zoom in just horizontally or just vertically which is a nice feature. You can also change the color of the background, whatever suits your taste. Just view the data points view the lines between the data points and so on and then you can also show the grid and another handy tool is to export the data to Excel which opens up a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet and in there you have all your data from the graph which is great when you want to analyze the data or if you're using another program like MathCAD to do work with those numbers